the 4th of November 1995, Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated. The assassination occurred at the end of a peace rally at the Kings of Israel Square, now known as Rabin Square. Rabin's life was intertwined with the city of Jerusalem. As a brigade commander in the Palmach in his 20s, he defended the same city where he was born. Years later, Rabin served as the chief of staff of the Israel Defense Forces and led Israel to victory in the 1967 Six-Day War, unifying the city of Jerusalem after 2,000 years. As chief of staff, Rabin's commanding order towards the end of the fighting was, Greater Jerusalem is liberated. Rabin would return to Jerusalem later in his life as a member of Knesset, Minister of Israel's government, and as Prime Minister. Yitzchak was born to parents who came to Israel in the third Aliyah, Rosa and Nahima Rabin. He studied at the prestigious Kadori Agricultural School, graduating with distinction and at the top of his class. Soon after his graduation, Rabin met his future wife, Leah, on a summer day in 1943. They met by an ice cream stand on Allenby Street in Tel Aviv. Yitzhak and Leah married in 1948 during a ceasefire in the midst of the War of Independence. Together, they had two children, Dahlia and Yuval. Upon completing his military career, Rabin and his family moved to Washington, where he served as Israel's ambassador to the United States. In June 1974, Rabin was elected as the fifth prime minister of the state of Israel. He was the first Sabra, Israeli-born citizen, to hold this position. After fighting his whole life for the state of Israel's security and witnessing the horrors of war, Rabin understood the importance of peace. Yitzhak Rabin, together with Foreign Minister Shimon Peres, aspired to create peace with the Palestinians. On the White House lawn, an agreement was signed that instilled a shared hope between the two people. Enough of blood and tears. Enough! We have no desire for revenge. We harbor no hatred towards you. We like you, our people. People who want to build a home, to plant a tree, to love, live side by side with you in dignity, in empathy, as human beings, as free men. We are today giving peace a chance. In 1994, Rabin was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for efforts in creating peace in the Middle East. In October 1994, during Rabin's second term as Prime Minister, a peace deal was signed together with King Hussein of Jordan. The agreement discussed relations, borders, and the sharing of resources between the two countries. Let us pray that a day will come when we all will say farewell to the arms. We wish to open a new chapter in the sad book of our lives together, a chapter of mutual recognition, of good neighborliness, of mutual respect, of understanding. 